What's up guys, today we're going to be having a look at the Picasso tab. This is a graphic tablet that also doubles as a standard tablet by a company called Simbans. Now, the main thing that caught my eye about this tablet is the fact that you can, according to the manufacturer, you can use it as a normal tablet with no problem, which is something that with other graphic tablets in this price range tends to be a bit iffy, I mean they don't tend to be that great. So anyways, let's have a look inside the box. First thing you get is a warranty card, then you get an instruction manual. You're not really going to learn much from this instruction manual about how to actually use the tablet because it mainly deals in using the adapter and the power brick that comes included. Uh, you also get a spare battery, there already is a battery installed in the pen, but you also get this one. It's a quadruple A battery, so it's a good job that you get an extra one because most people won't have quadruple A batteries laying around. Now, in this side, in compartment, you get the power brake and the adapters that you will need depending on your region. So, integrated into the power brake itself is the American plug, as you can see there. And you also get the UK plug and an EU 2 pin plug. So you can just swap them out, which is always handy to use, especially if you travel a lot. And you get a USB Type-C cable. That's another really good point about this tablet, that it doesn't use micro USB, it uses USB Type-C. So you'll be able to use the same charger that you use for your phone, which is always a plus. Now, I'm not sure if this is a standard or if this was just because I got a promotion on Amazon, but this tablet came with a couple of freebies. Uh, for example, it came with a screen protector pre-installed, and it also came with this case. It's actually a pretty nice case. It's a uh, fox leather uh, with a red uh, pattern right in the middle, and it has the Simbans logo in the bottom corner, and it actually feels um, good quality. And it was free, so I can't really complain. It also has a soft lining on the inside not to scratch the screen up. And it also has a stand on the back, so you can use this to stand your tablet up. The pen itself is actually really nice. I wasn't expecting it to be as nice as it is. It's got a good weight to it. It's all metal construction or aluminum, I'm not sure, but it does feel really solid. Um, as I said, it's got a battery in, so you don't have to be putting too much strength onto the screen, which could lead to breaking the screen. Uh, you just have to just tap it, and it's enough to be able to get the screen to respond. Um, as you can see, the battery goes in this screw top, and it also has a clip, so you can clip it onto your shirt or onto the case itself. So all in all, it's a really good pen. It's quite comfortable to use, and yeah, I've not got any complaints in the pen regard. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that because this is a battery-powered pen, you don't have to push in that hard. I mean, at the start, because I was expecting it to be your run-of-the-mill cheap uh, tablet, I put a bit too much pressure, uh, so that's not something you want to do. I mean, literally, you don't even have to touch the screen. You just hover the tip of the pen over the screen, and you get a response from the tablet. So it's actually really good. Now the back of the tablet has kind of like a grey sandstone colour and it has kind of like a matte finish. Actually looks really nice. Uh, most people wouldn't care about how the tablet looks, but I think that it's always a plus if your gadgets or uh, tech items look good. Now here you've got your SD card slot, you've got a mic that's integrated into the tablet, you've got your headphone jack input, you've got a micro HDMI so you can um, mirror the screen of the tablet onto a TV, which is always handy. And at the top you've got your plus and, and your volume up and volume down and your power button. And on the other side there are no buttons. Now the camera is actually better than what I thought it'd be, especially the one in the back. The one in the front is perfectly fine for Skype calls, but the one in the back is actually a decent camera that you could use to take some, some snaps. I mean, it's not the best camera in the world, but when you think about how cheap this tablet is and you think about all the other features the tablet has, it's actually a lot better than you'd expect it to be. Now, the browsing and the media consumption experience on this tablet is really good. Uh, as I said, that's one of the main things that caught my eye about it, the fact that it was claimed to be 
really good for general purpose as well as a graphic tablet. As you can see, it's really snappy. It's running Android 7.0 Nougat and it has 2 gigabytes of RAM. You can also get a version in 1 gigabyte of RAM, but the price difference is so small that I'd probably recommend getting the 2 gigabyte version. And whenever you're opening up and closing apps and uh, consuming the media and watching YouTube, uh, you really see the two gigabytes of RAM being put to work because it's really snappy, really responsive, really quick, as you can see in the video. Also, I tried out a few games. Um, no problem there either. I'm not a big gamer, so that's not a selling point for me. But just to let you know, I tried out a few racing ones and it was perfectly fine. Uh, it does only go up to 720p on the videos, but that's to be expected for a tablet in this price range. And overall, I mean, you get Autodesk included and pre-installed as well, which is I found to be quite a good uh, app for drawing. So overall, I don't really have any complaints. And for the price, I don't really think you can do any better than the Picasso tab. I've tried other similarly priced tablets and they've turned out to be rubbish, but that's not the case with the Picasso tab. So it's definitely recommended. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to pick one up. Till the next time, guys. Peace.